Is this thing on? Yeah, uh, this is a long time coming. Um, I've been meaning to do video for a while, but I didn't have the equipment working until now. I mean, right now I'm even using the camera on my laptop. Sorry about that. Um, but I figured better late than never. Everybody else is doing video reviews and everything before I actually start doing video reviews I kinda want to do an introduction of myself um, people who visited the site before know me as the window keeper I'm gonna keep it that way for now at the very least um, I am from Ohio I'm living in a two-bedroom townhouse right now um, a lot of people can tell I'm a very very big horror movie fanatic and a video game fanatic as well some of my favorite series include Silent Hill, which is, despite what I say about number two, still my favorite series of all times in games. Um, the new Batman series, if you can call that a series, even though it's only two games. Borderlands, how I even love the Lego series right now, and that's one people are going to be like, you're 28, why do you play with Legos still? And I'm like, Fuck you, I don't care. Um, hell, I'm still playing Toy Story on the PS3, and that game's like, why is it so fun? Um, just a little bit of an update. Brain Junk Food is not on a hold. Um, I'm still doing Brain Junk Food, and I'm still going to try to get them out monthly, if not bi-weekly. Um, essentially, what's going on is I'm going to switch Brain Junk Food to all... Um, video here in a bit. The only issue I'm having, one, because of money issues, I had to sell the PS2, so I won't be doing any PS2 reviews, if not for a while, then at all. So I'll be concentrating mainly on PC and PlayStation 3 games, hopefully not just exclusives. If there's a PS2, PS1 game that I can download, i.e. Silent Hill 1, which I'm planning on revisiting sometime for Brain Junk Food, um, I'm actually going to get on the PS3. The only thing holding me back from doing PS3 games right now is I do not have the equipment to put videos from the PS3 onto the computer. And I'm, well, we're working on that, mean, um, color me happy. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to be recording games directly off of my computer starting with <laughs> oh no oh I'm starting with Sunnyville Yard Sale and if you've never heard of Sunnyville Yard Sale this game made me lose my mind um someone asked me about a joke I made in a previous brain junk food about the sodomizing clown it's in this game and it is utterly terrifying. When you see it, you'll understand why. A um, little bit about myself. Didn't mean to headbutt the camera there. Sorry, potential viewers. Um, like I said, I'm an avid gamer. I grew up reading comic books. That's how I learned to read. Hence, Spidey back there. I often say I owe Spider-Man a great debt for teaching me how to read. But that being said, I like things that a lot of people don't. Yes, I like Splatterhouse, for example. I love the game. I love the series, too. Um, let's see if I can... Yeah, I actually won a contest for my review where I got the Splatterhouse poster. Borderlands. Of course, Watchmen. Um... I hated the darkness too. Don't ask me why, I'll get to that later. Sam and Max. Oh dear god, I love that game. Um currently what I'm doing right now for HHMR or is HHMR, Horrid Horror Movie Reviews, and Brain Junk Food, and I'm actually going to start potentially doing articles, both vlog and um let me adjust the lighting here. <laughs> um, both vlog and written 
about certain aspects of gaming. Lately, one of the things I've been getting into is the over-exaggeration of violence to women in gaming. I don't call myself a feminist. I call myself more of a humanist. I believe in equal rights for everyone, despite of race, gender, or sexual orientation. That being said, I don't think of myself as a liberal or conservative either, but that's... That's a topic for another day. Um, and what got me started on that was Tomb Raider. You don't set, or you don't advertise a scene and go, oh, it looks like a rape scene, but it's not. We're not going to delve into rape. When you obviously do. Um, but I'm also, or I've also written articles about um, whether video games are art and. I myself and I'm an art major. I have a graphic design degree, and I'm actually going for a fine or photo degree at Wright State, and I'm planning on going back for my master's, or at my very least, or my doctorate, so I can actually start teaching photography. Um, so yeah. Also, I do not have the sunglasses for this yet. I do plan on doing horrid horror movie reviews as videos soon, too. And again, I'm waiting on trying to find stuff for the PS3. But I'm also waiting on the opportune time. There, because I, I'm new to making videos and editing and everything like that, there are certain ones I do not feel comfortable doing as horrid horror movie reviews as videos. Namely, The Human Centipede 2. Oh! Oh, yeah! I am still reviewing that. I hate myself, but I'm still reviewing that. Um, there, there are certain things, obviously, in that movie that I can't really show. Mainly the, hey, let's stitch somebody's mouth to someone's ass. You can thank me later. If... But I will be doing that as a verbal review, or a written review, much like the Human Centipede 1. And yes, I'm going to have an ongoing music joke like that. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and watch it on my um, blogger, or read it on my blogger. Because when you read it, you have to have the website trollalalalal.com playing throughout the whole review. It doesn't work as well without it. But, um... Some of the inside jokes from the verbal review or written reviews will be going into the videos as well, such as the girls in front of us, Thompson. I have to do it. I have the sunglasses in my car, and I will try to find a better hat right now. I found this at a thrift store for like a, a buck fifty. But I will be doing the ghost of Hunter S. Thompson. Um, for Brain Junk Food, I'm starting a um, occurring joke of what if Two-Face was Batman's big villain instead of the Joker. I'll leave that to you to figure out why I'm doing that. Also, I do want to start not to step on anyone's toes. This is mainly to get my voice. I want to start kind of reviewing kind of like comic books, but I'm not going to review the plot aspect. I'm actually going to review the story and impact aspect of it. I also want to do that with movies or video games and not go into brain junk food. I'm going to be changing brain junk food in a bit so it will encompass not just bizarre games but all types of games. It, it, it'll become clearer once I make another video explaining changes coming up. But as it is, I just want to get on the air, on YouTube, onto my blogger and show you people what's going to happen, what's changing, let you know it may take some time to get fully adjusted, but we'll get there. Just stay tuned. If you're new, welcome. And if you're, um, my stash is all messed up. I'm going to have to say goodbye to it soon. And if you're an old visitor, um, thank you for reading, visiting this long. I appreciate it. Well, see you guys later.